Welcome back to Whiskey Bonded. I'm Conrad. Today we've got a Whiskey Bonded Bottled and Bond three-way blind. Today we've got Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, 1792 Bottled and Bond, and the all-new Jack Daniels Bonded. Stick around. Hey doofus, you don't have to be blindfolded to do a blind tasting. Wait, what? Obviously, we're not going to really do the blindfold. I was just playing around a little bit. But what we do have today for you is our very first blind taste testing. I put out a question for everybody on Instagram. I appreciate you guys all chiming in as to what kind of a blind test you'd like to see. And I actually put up a couple different options of a 10-year bourbon or a bottled in bond a blind taste, taste test. Uh, everybody obviously voted for the bottle and bond, but I did make a substitution. You'll notice in the picture that I actually had uh, E.H. Taylor uh, small batch, which is a bottled and bond product also. But I just decided to swap that out because I know that some of you guys can't get E.H. Taylor small batch very easily. And it certainly is not in the price point for most of you, uh, even at what it's supposed to be, the $45. Uh, it is not really in a competitive price point if you can even get it at that. So what I've done is I've actually swapped in Evan Williams bottle and bond. And I'll tell you why I did this. One, I see the Evan Williams bottle and bond popping up all over the place as hitting above its weight class. This is an extremely inexpensive bottle. So I put that in there with the 1792 bottle and bond, a Barton product that is super reliable. You guys, a lot of you guys like this. I love everything by 1792. Um, and I've got the all new uh, Jack Daniels Bonded that just came out. I was actually able to pick one of those up and I see everybody talking about them. Uh, hopefully we'll be, get, be able to get our hands on a triple mash here pretty soon, but for now, we're gonna do these three in a blind. I've asked my wife to come in and mix these up, so I don't know what order they're in. Um, I do want it to say, I'm not gonna get into the whole history of Bottled and Bond, but I personally love Bottled and Bond. Bottled and Bond is an 1897 law. It was the very first consumer product control law in the United States, and it basically set rules for uh, whiskey production. So a Bottled and Bond product has to be one distillery, uh, one season, four years aged, and 100 proof. And I really think that because of those rules, you do kind of get a, a certain level of quality when you get these things. Quick rundown, Evan Williams, Bottle and Bond. This is the least expensive of them. It, it's only about $13. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I've actually not had this before. I've been meaning to pick it up, but I just haven't been in a rush because honestly, it's everywhere and, and everybody should be able to find it at that price all the time, which is really astonishing to me because I understand this is really good bourbon. Uh, the 1792 is about $30. What I paid for it, I think I paid $31 for it. I think that's a little less than the MSRP. Um, and the Jack Daniels bottle I just picked up for $30. All right, so let's give it a taste. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one here. Okay, so immediately I'm getting notes that I think I'm going to get on all three of these. Immediately I'm getting the vanilla and the caramel. I'm getting a lot of banana on this one, which is, which is really interesting. I'm not getting a lot of oak. Okay, so there's a little of the oak. Don't get the banana. Get a little sweetness that maybe could be described as like marshmallow. Obviously the vanilla and the caramel. Like I said, I think that's gonna come up in all these. Finish is pretty decently long. Get a little bit of that higher alcohol content, but it's not a burn. It's actually kind of nice. It kind of fills your mouth up a little bit. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so now I'm getting some, I'm getting oak in this one for sure. So the oak's there in this one that wasn't in the last one. I think that's the primary difference on the nose. Yeah. So this one has got the same caramel and vanilla, but it's got it's got some oak to it. There's definitely oak in the finish. There's definitely oak on the palate. Much more oak present than, than, the, than the last one. The alcohol effervescence, that 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 alcohol that fills up your mouth is a little less present on this one. That's really good, which is astonishing because these are all the same proof. Last one. Okay, so on this one, definitely getting a little more rye. A little more rye spice on that. There's a little oak in there and the caramel. Yeah, so what's in this one that's not in the other ones is that rye. 
Obviously caramel and vanilla still. A little bit of oak. The finish is long and the rye spice really hangs around. Stays with you a little bit. If you like that spice, that little prickle that's on your tongue with a, with a, with a higher rye, you're going to like that. That's really good. So they are all a little different. All being bottled in bond. Uh, you know, you would think that, that they have a lot of similarities. And they do in the caramel and the vanilla. But they're actually all quite different. And it's kind of kind of tricking me a little bit. Because I know that one of these is half the price of the other two. And man, I have my suspicion. But I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to go in for one last taste before I put these in order of, of one through third. Oh man, that's tough. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put these in order. One, two, three. I'll tell you why. I actually kind of like the rye on the rye spice on this. I think it gives it a little more character in the flavor. It definitely makes that finish kind of linger a little bit longer, which is I like, especially when you're drinking neat out of a Glencairn. To take a little sip and then to get that experience of the nose and then the palate. And as the palate changes, and then as it fades, and then that finish just kind of hangs with you. You can take a sip and actually enjoy it for a little longer than just during the time that you're that you're drinking it. Because you can, even now I can taste that that rice spice as I'm talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that up, give that first place. Uh, I like this one, and these two were pretty close to me, but I like this one. I kind of like that banana note. It definitely has a, a bigger nose to it. The, the the banana note on the nose is super strong, which I like it. It gives it character. This one is just a little flatter. It's just a little less, a little less bold, a little less there. And it doesn't have, other than that oak, it doesn't have a real forward characteristic smell. Rye, banana. This is just the kind of the typical caramel and vanilla. It's very good. And like I said, one of these is only $13. So it's just astonishing because I would drink any one of these and I'd be very interested to try these with water or ice, but I'm going to give this one second because that banana note is very interesting and the flavors, under underlying flavors are very good. They're very sweet. They're very pleasant. Um, that's actually really, really nice. It's an easy sipper because you take the spice out of it uh, that's out of this first one here and it just makes it sweet and easy. It actually reminds me a lot of the experience that I get when I drink Buffalo Trace. Obviously, Buffalo Trace doesn't have the, the banana in there, but that kind of sweet and easiness. So let's see what we got, what each one of these is. Okay, so, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so number one is the 1792 Bottle de Bond. I can't say I'm super surprised by that. I know that the 1792 Bottle de Bond has the highest rye content of these, you know, somewhere around the 20%. I don't think that they actually say, but it has the highest rye content. And I think that gives this just a little bit of something, a little bit more of a kick. Okay, so number two, is the Jack Daniels Bonded, making number three the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. So I can't say I'm super surprised by this outcome. I'm a big fan of Barton, I'm a big fan of 1792. That bit of rye in there makes it really interesting. It's subtle, it's not overwhelmingly rye because I don't honestly love a huge rye spice, but a little rye spice is nice, it just gives you some character. This is the most banana I've ever think, I think I've ever gotten on the nose on, a, on, a, on any bourbon or whiskey. That is banana, 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 banana to me. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you if you get something different from this. I'd be really interested to find out if you get that. So that's really really good though. This is super easy, and I can see for thirty dollars this becoming your uh, a regular drinker on your on your bar. The Evan Williams, I think to me is the surprise of this blind. Other than the banana on this Jack Daniels, which really kind of blows me away. I mean, it's really it's crazy. I mean, it's just banana laffy taffy, nuts. The Evan Williams, this was $13.99, and to be honest, I actually got it at Total Wine. I had a $5 coupon, so it was like $9 and some change, including taxes. That might be the best bargain in bourbon. This is, I mean, a surprise. It's, it's, it's amazing how, how good that is, and it was close with these two. The banana was really, really fun for me, so I had to put that one first, but this is really a shocker, man. I can't believe how good this is for, for as cheap as it is. And for a bottle and bond product, for 100 proof, man, I don't know. I, 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 did, a, uh, I did a video about uh, Benchmark 8. I think it was my first video. And how much of a bargain Benchmark 8 was for $8. You'd get a Buffalo Trace product. I'll put a link in the video so you can check that out if you want. But 
this is twice the bargain. It's basically the same price and this is actually solid. I could serve this to some people and probably convince them that that's four times as expensive as it is. Um, I'm gonna really be interested to let this air out a little bit more and see how much, see how that tastes after it's been open for a little bit, maybe let it set a little bit. So there you have it, number one, number two, number three in our whiskey bonded, bottle and bond, three-way blind without the blindfold. Thank God for my wife to let me know I don't have to do that. This has been really tough with the blindfold on, to be completely honest with you. But you guys, if you have any uh, comments about this, if you agree with what I've got here, if you disagree with what I've got here, if you think there's one that I should have thrown in, if you think that I should have thrown in the E.H. Taylor and put it in here after all, my opinion, obviously, it would have won. I'm a sucker for E.H. Taylor. But let me know in the comments. You guys, please like comment and subscribe. Please tell somebody about the channel. I'm over on Instagram at Whiskey Bonded. You guys can come over there and talk to me all day long. We're really getting a nice following over there. I'd love to be able to switch that over to YouTube. So you guys, please come check me out on YouTube. Subscribe here and uh, we'll see you guys again soon. And until next time, I'm Conrad, Whiskey Bonded. Cheers. Hmm. Man, I gotta get more bottled and bond stuff. Get yourself some bottled and bond whiskey. I just don't know how you can go wrong. I mean, damn, that is some serious stuff.